Neville. This is the story about Neville, a little engine who just wanted to make friends. But Thomas and the others wouldn't give him a chance, and that got them all into trouble. One morning, the Fat Controller made an announcement. A new engine has arrived on the island, he said. His name is Neville. We must all make him feel welcome. I wonder what this Neville will be like, Thomas said to Emily. I hope he's a steamy like us, Emily replied. Later that day, Thomas had stopped at a signal when the signalman called down to him. The bridge ahead is unsafe, he said. It needs mending before any engines can cross it. You must go to the docks and collect some iron to repair the bridge. At the docks, Ari and Bert were with Neville, the new engine. Neville was a steamy, but he had a square body like a diesel. Ari and Bert were feeling naughty. We'll help you shunt tru those trucks, they said. But they pushed Neville hard into the trucks. The diesels laughed. Neville looked sad. It's not our fault you're a silly steamy, oil Bert. And they laughed even harder. When Thomas arrived at the docks, he, saw, he thought he saw Ari and Bert laughing with Neville. That's the new engine, Thomas thought. He seems to be friends with the diesels. How strange. Thomas chuffed off, for Na off to Knapford Station. We'd better be careful of that new engine, he warned James at the platform. I saw him laughing with Ari and Bert at the docks. James was shocked. A steamy friends with diesels? He chugged off to take on water. That new engine Neville is best friends with the diesels, he puffed when Percy passed by. He doesn't like steamies. Thomas told me. Later, Percy met Emily at a red signal. Don't go near Neville the new engine, he told her. The diesels have told him to biff into steamies. James heard it from Thomas. When Thomas arrived at Croven's Gate, the fat controller was there. I have a very important job for you, he boomed. You must warn all the engines not to cross the bridge until it is repaired. Thomas felt proud. It was a really useful job. Then he heard a whistle. Someone was coming. He had to warn them. But when Thomas saw it was Neville, he forgot all about his important job. He's pulling Annie and Clarabel. They're my coaches, not his. Hello, puffed Neville perkily. I'm not talking to you, Thomas huffed. Neville was puzzled and sad. When Emily pulled in next to him, Neville gave her a big friendly smile. He hoped she would be nicer than Thomas. Emily wished out steam. It's no use trying to make friends with me, she said grandly. I know you're going to biff into all the steamies, just like the diesels told you to. Neville didn't know why she was being so horrid to him. But the station master blew his whistle and Neville had to chug sadly away. When Then Emily saw Thomas. Thanks for warning us about Neville, she said. Percy told me what you told James. Thomas was very surprised. I only saw Neville with the diesels, he cried. But before Emily could answer, Toby arrived. Have you heard, he puffed. Salty saw Ari and Bert be horrible to Neville at the docks. So the Diesels weren't Neville's friends at all. All of a sudden, Thomas remembered where Neville was going. Neville's heading for the broken bridge, he cried. I must stop him. Neville was speeding along. Suddenly, he saw a barrier on the track. He slammed on his brakes, but it was too late. His front wheels went over the broken end of the bridge. Thomas came racing up and saw what had happened. He knew it was all his fault. Then he had an idea. He would pull Neville back. Thomas steamed slowly and carefully onto the bridge. He gently bumped Clarabel, and Thomas's driver coupled Clarabel to him. Thomas was very scared. Slowly and steadily, he began to pull Neville back from the edge. The bridge creaked. Thomas had to hurry. With one big puff, he pulled Neville to safety. Thanks, whistled Neville. What a relief. I should have warned you, puffed Thomas, but I was too busy believing silly stories. I thought you didn't like Steamies. Can you forgive me? Oh yes, peeped Neville. Let's be friends. Thomas gave Neville a long, happy peep-peep. 
From now on, he wanted to be the best friend that Neville ever had.